All right, hello everybody. Happy Friday. Pretty freaking stoked that it's Friday. I have just brought all of, I think, sometimes I forget a baby, but I believe I've got all of my current babies here. Uh, I have one doll in the house that won't be featured on the video because he is sold and uh, his mom has just a little bit more to go on paying him off and he will be going. But other than that, I wanted to show you my current collection, give you a little forecast of what you can expect for the rest of the year, or at least the first half of the year. We'll see. I don't know. So I'm currently in my guest bedroom in my house and it's taken up with babies. I can give you kind of a little swirl of the room. Um, I am going to do a house tour here, but it's an antique. That's my coffee, but there's an antique like um, bedroom set in here that I got that I purchased with the house. That is one of my antique bird houses. I have three of them that I collected uh, about like circa 1920s. That one has obviously been painted green, so it's in my green room. A little um, door stopper that used to be an iron. The room is full of babies. This is like a mid-century thing. It needs refinishing. I picked up on the side of the road a while back, years, a couple years ago, and I've never done anything with it, but it's cool. Um, just do a sweep of the room. Here's the babies. Oh, my Keegan's box is still here, but these are, excuse me, I mentioned in one of my other videos, these are my antique dolls. All of these dolls are from uh, the 1920s, best, um, the, especially I know for sure. Um, she is, she is, and she is. We've got some F of E babies, and, um, and then this one I got from an antique store, a local antique store, and I'm not 100% sure, I can't remember what her, her tag's probably still on her, actually. Um, maybe not, I don't know. But anyhow, most of the things, the antiques that I collected are um, like age era appropriate. My house was built in 1924. So, but let's go, I'm gonna show you my current collection. And I think we'll, there's no particular order. I have the phone on a selfie stick, so hopefully this will go pretty well. So let's start over here with Miss Reagan. She was on a video recently. Reagan is the August sculpt by Don McLeod. She was reborn by Anna Danelska. And um, in, I think she's in Poland, I'm 99% sure. She's a newborn size, she's pretty heavy. She's weighted beautifully. She's rooted with like a two-tone hair. She's got very rich colors, really beautiful detail. She's a sweet sleeper. Again, newborn size, one month size. You know, she's a full, full newborn size. And you'll be happy to see if you caught it in one of my previous videos. I did go out to my car and get the stick that fell out of my, um, what are these called? rocker anyway um when i was moving so yay thankfully i had that i'm gonna go clockwise next we have george <laughs> george is the cameron sculpt by laura tuzio ross he's about a three month size baby i can get him in a zero three zero to three clothing he's a chubby boy he was reborn by claire campbell in the uk He's got uh, painted hair, very fine, young baby painted hair. And uh, he, we just did some photos with him and he just got changed. So um, how much does he weigh? I'm not sure of everybody's weight, you guys. You know, he's five, six pounds, I would say. And he's a chubby, chubby guy. Then we have Miss Charlie Ingalls, and oh, let me think. I don't remember everybody's middle name, so we're just gonna say it or not say it. This is Charlie Ingalls. Charlie is, as almost everybody knows, the baby I've had here the longest. Charlie is the Sally sculpt by Bonnie Brown. She is a 
good length newborn, but a very skinny girl. She was reborn by Marina Matsko, who's a Russian artist. Got her from the artist, like I said, four and a half years ago about. I found the picture that I kept recently. Marina had um, fashioned her kind of after her, her niece, when her niece was a girl, and it's, it's uncanny. Um, she's pretty light. She came to me very light. I made her heavy and then I regretted it and I tried to put her back as closely as I could to how the artist had her um, because it just messed with my bond for whatever reason. Charlie is needing a change into something yellow. Okay, next up we've got Murphy. Murphy Anastasia is the Anastasia sculpt by Olga Auer. She is a newborn size, I believe like 20 inches. She is, she's, um, she's not too big, not too small. She's got those gorgeous pouty lips. She's got some freckles. She was reborn by Elena Lilly out of Belarus. And um, her eyebrows are incredible. I love how Elena does the eyebrows. I have had a total of three kits I have found and one got lost. Um, another one, no, yeah, I think three kids. Anyhow, um, she's here. I love her. She is, um, uh, one of my dream sculpts for sure. And hopefully will be a permanent part of my collection. That's my goal for those who wonder. That is my goal. And you know, right now I'm feeling really content. Okay. Being on this stick might make it a little hard, but I wanted to maybe turn this. Here we go. As a lot of people know, uh, this is one of my favorite, favorite girls. This is Amity Sol, S-O-L. She is the Terra Sculpt by Gudrun Legler. She wears a three to six month size. Mine does. She has three quarter arms, three quarter legs. She's also reborn by Elena Lilly from Belarus. She was the first doll I got from that artist. And I, um, she probably gives me the most real vibes and I've traveled with her. I uh, cannot help but talk to her when I pick her up. Um, my grandma always talked to her dolls and stuffed animals too. And she's just the neatest thing with her little, she also has awesome eyebrows, her curls. Um, love, love, love her lots. And she has never crossed my mind of selling. She's, I, it'd be hard pressed to let that girl go. Even if I don't pick her up for months. Okay. So, um, yes, that is her. Okay. Let's come back over here. We saw this guy recently. This is Gabriel Reese. Gabriel is the Maui sculpt by Georgia Piggott, who has sort of become, um, you know, a top favorite sculptor of mine over the last couple of years, just watching her different babies that she's sculpted. And um, he is reborn by Amy of Dazzling Reborns by Amy, who is a fairly new artist, you guys, two years in the hobby. Two years in the art, sorry. Two years in the community, two years in the art. She recently did two prototypes for Georgia. Um, she is someone to watch for sure. And she's also a really awesome person. So that's Gabriel. He's newborn size as well. He is, um, he's weighted really nice. He's heavy, uh, what can I say? Yeah, he's like, he's got curled up legs like Levi. So he's, um, you know, he's like, a, he's a smaller newborn, but I think I would put him at about 19 inches, but I am not 100% sure on that. Highly recommend this sculpt. Truly one of my favorites ever. And so unique, so different than, especially the face, so different from what I've seen before. I mean, look at the little hands. Love him as well. Come down here. We've seen her yesterday, I think. This is Maeve Elliott. She's a Laura sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Ooh, and I'm in her light, sorry. Uh, she is a newborn size. 
I had a prototype Laura before, and then I had one of the special edition kits that I was saving for a custom, because this sculpt looks almost identical. The face looks almost identical to my baby picture that was taken in the hospital the day I was born. So when she was in clay, you know, and she had no hair and all I saw was her face, it was like very uncanny. And I just knew that I had to have her. Um, as it turns out, Bonnie didn't disappoint with everything she did with the limbs and the hands and the feet and the wrists and the ankles and the movement of this baby. She is 20 and a half inches. I believe uh, if her legs were straight, that is. That's what I would say. She was reborn by Riley Lee of Riley B Reborns in South Korea. My first doll from her, she's a fairly new artist as well and really um, incredible. Hopefully I'm not moving around too much. I might be, sorry. You can see some of her details here. Those eyebrows, unbelievable. All the little details on her face very real baby, very sweet. I know she's a fixture in my collection. I, she's um, probably, I would say if you put all the pieces together, my favorite sculpt. Yeah. All right, let's come over here. <laughs> Hello, Billy. Let's uncover your legs here. So Billy just had a photo shoot. She's been kind of plopped back down here into this little baby nest, but Billy is of my full body silicone girl from um, the uh, Brie Sculpt by Georgia Piggott. There's an addition of 10 plus two artist proofs. And um, I think two of the sculpts typically are poured with a ball jointed head by another by another pourer, I guess, um, and then and then Georgia does the rest. At, um, they do it at Piggott's Playpen. She's down in North Carolina. There you go. She is nineteen inches. Oh goodness, she's a newborn size. Newborn zero to one month. Zero to three months is, you know, comfortably roomy on her. The set is newborn. She has armatures in her arms and in her legs. Um, I bought her directly from Georgia. I believe she was rooted. It, it seems that most of the, um, most of Georgia's babies are rooted, the hair and the eyelashes by um, Lazara Brito, who had rerooted my Sparrow, who was Nova by Lillian Breedveld back in the day, my first full body silicone. Um, so she's, she's well known for her rooting services, our skills, talent, art. And she's been here for a few weeks now. I absolutely adore her. So armatures in her arms and in her legs, the legs I've never experienced before. So that's really cool. She has an open mouth with a sculpted tongue in there. And um, uh, just full of character. And she weighs, I think, like eight pounds, 10 ounces, something like that. She's perfect. Brown eyes, brown hair, so much personality. She looks sometimes um, like she's in wonder or a uh, state of curiosity. And sometimes she looks very sassy. And I love this outfit on her little princess with her little sporty socks. All right, let's come on over here. This is Betty Blue. Betty is a cuddle baby. She's the Ruby Awake head from Bountiful Baby, a real born Ruby Awake. And then she's on a Reggie, premium Reggie cuddle body, um, which is so awesome. She's very poseable. She's been featured in some of my videos and is uh, newborn size. She's her head's nice and heavy, and her body's weighted really nicely and heavy in the butt and in the. In the you know, she's got uh, the glass beads in the limbs. She's really awesome and very very sweet. And I have had her for a little bit, but uh, you know, most of these babies aren't haven't been here for all that long. 
She was reborn by Emily Elliott of Eborn, I think it's Eborn's Reborns on, um, on Instagram, Emily Elliott. She's got her own, it's Eborn's Reborns or Eborn's, I'm sorry, oh goodness. Anyway, she's got her own website where you can buy her dolls. Um, and she is a, a, a really, really sweet person. And then our last baby is our newest baby. This is the Tegan sculpt, fitting into this little stroller car seat thingy here, just barely, by Laura Lee Eagles. She was reborn by Moon River Reborn Nursery, Holly Cook. She has painted hair. She's about a three month size baby. All the clothes that came with her were zero to three size, which zero to three months. I believe she's 22 inches, 22 or 23. Um, which is the same size as Amity. She has three quarter arms and full legs. I had to double check. Her name is Sula, S-U-L-A, Tegan is her middle name. And her, um, she has the most beautiful details. And I, this seems a little blurry to me, but she's got these freckles on either side of her nose, beautiful eyebrows, that sucked in lip, the painted hair is painted in layers. I'll try uh, doing some reflection, of course, but if I am, um, maybe you can see a little bit and get the depth of it. You can certainly catch it in my photos, but. I've admired this sculpt almost my entire time in the hobby, and to me, this baby is a work of art. This is a this is a work of art, you know, representation of a, a beautiful reborn. So I absolutely love her. She's I think she's like seven pounds something. I just changed her for the first time out of her homecoming outfit into um, some of the. Clothes I got from Katie, and she has her elephant that she came home with. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten um, babies, including my silicone. So what is next, right? I'm probably not gonna tell you like who is coming, but so in the works, and I, I like the number, you know, I'm kind of like a meaning person. So in the works, this little girl, I there's a sculpt or a real born head that uh, is one of my favorite baby stops in my tracks every time I see it. She has agreed to do a special um, order, a custom order for me to make this little girl a brother who will also be a cuddle baby. And I've asked her to make him in the same style with all of the very, um, what would we say, not heavy, um, all the rash and the dry skin and the um, the stork bite, all that super newborn detail that is on Betty here is going to happen uh, for him. He's actually almost done, so within the next month, I would say he'll be home. And then Miss Claire Campbell, who made George, I was looking at him during one of my other videos, and I was thinking, you know, there's a kit that I've loved again for years. And there's kind of a thing going on here. Like the kits that call to me again and again or stop me in my scroll, like that's kind of the way I'm going. He is, uh, um, he's done in the style that I really prefer for that sculpt. And, um, and so I reached out to her and she agreed to do a custom order for me. So next couple months for her, she's gonna start her soon. That'll be a girl. And then I've got another little surprise coming from fabulous Georgia Pickett. 
sometime between tomorrow and September. I don't know. We'll see. That'll put me at 13, you guys. My absolute favorite number. It feels like kismet, right? So I feel like, you know, a lot of times, and I, and I usually I sell to justify my purchases and I did that and then like I did that and I felt really good about it. Sometimes you just need a change. I did that and every time I do that, it's like, oops, oh, and then I'll also add this one, right? So like I did, I sold babies. I felt really good about the money and then I bought her and George unexpectedly, right? <laughs> Look at George. And then I, um, I did sales to really like, because I decided, and I was very intentional when I picked her out. So I got her and I was like, okay, I'm going to sell some babies and then, um, had to do this baby. Right. So I got these girls and, um, and then I saw her and, and she's so perfect and I could not pass her up. So I got her, but like this time, um, I don't want to sell anyone. I'm not going to do it. If I have to do it, I, I will, of course, you know, if I can't like cover my responsibilities. But the thing that happens is if you have a job, money's coming in, coming in, coming in, eventually you catch up. And then like, so it puts me a little behind schedule of where, you know, I'm wanting to land and building up, you know, building up savings for other things and all of that but it doesn't like cancel it out and these dolls like this is obviously a big part of my life like I don't have children it's just like I'm only responsible for taking care of myself of course I want to travel and I'll retire eventually and I want to do other things in my life too but I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold and I'm gonna have 13 in my collection and I've been down the road too many times to say uh, you know I'm satisfied forever I'm feeling like that right now I'm experienced and smart enough to know that that's probably BS but I hope it's not so and then you know or maybe I get maybe I get to that like dream spot where if you want to add one to your collection once you're you want to add one like it's an addition to a collection instead of a trade out I'd like to do that because um, that's what I am drawn to right now. That being said, remember that I do call myself a reborn sampler. So, you know, I, I don't want to lie to myself or anybody else. But that's how I feel right now. I really, like, they're all great babies. Great dolls. Dolls I've wanted. The art's fantastic. All the prices are right. The sculpts are good. It's good stuff. Okay, so kind of a tangent there, and I'm like moving around the room a lot. I, I'm not sure who to stop and focus on, Charlie girl. But that's it. I, I have um, I've shared my whole collection. There's nobody in that basket over there, right? So this is the crew right now. We'll certainly keep you updated as it expands. And um, certainly we'll also be back with chat topics and um, changing videos and all of that. And um, excited to head into the weekend. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Probably be back over the weekend. Maybe won't be back over the weekend. Not sure. But thank you all for watching and commenting and being awesome. We are sending out lots of love. And bye for now.